Congratulations for being one of the best uh, participant in the pack series. We also were fighting for another $250,000 to our favorite charity. Not only going on this great adventure, we also made lifelong friends and Derby actually made a girlfriend on the show. Surfs? That's yes. actually what that's one of our surfing buddies. Hey. Buddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Through this whole thing, you know, we every team had an opportunity to win $500,000. So to me, it wasn't about the the 500,000. I mean, money money comes and goes. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> yes, I'm doing good. How about you? Very good. Hold on, let me get Derby over here so we get him in the shot here. <laughs> yes, Give me yes, one second. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh yeah, here he is. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, Hi, how Derby. are you? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm doing good. How about you? And how was how are things there? Uh, oh, right things now? are going. Things are going good. It's a beautiful San Diego, California morning. Uh, the sun's out. It's a little chilly, but it's not too bad. That's that, that's nice to hear. And also, congratulations for uh, being one of the best uh, participant in the pack series. Uh, so let me introduce uh, Ken Sekhi <laughs> and Derby to you guys. Uh, they have been uh, a fascinating participant and an amazing personality to watch. Uh, in the pack series which is available on amazon prime i hope the world is watching and enjoying it and uh, thanks a lot for uh, coming on to the show called chasing dreams i hope uh, people would be excited to see you both on the show <laughs> well thank you so much for having us we you know we're so honored to be a uh, part of this <laughs> thank you thank you thanks a lot yes so to start off with uh, we we all saw you in uh, the pack and uh, we were like uh, guessing what what are these guys doing okay uh, so before that uh, what is your story on before coming to the pack can you explain a bit about that yeah so i uh, i had gotten derby uh, about 7 years ago when i was living in atlanta georgia uh um, okay. i was looking for a golden doodle didn't know much about them uh, i knew that they don't shed very much but you know they you know they're hypoallergenic but they were really yeah. really expensive like talk i mean like 2000 $1500 and i came across a friend of mine whose family had gotten derby and they realized that they didn't have time for him uh okay. they they understood they had two kids one on the way and all he knew was a kennel in the backyard so uh i they said man we know about you through our, your friend and everything you can have him and i was like wow thank you so much and he needed a little training he was a little skittish and everything but I took him everywhere uh that I I worked at a bar and restaurants and we took him on on crazy adventures while living in Atlanta. Uh okay. after after living in Atlanta for a while I've been in the bar industry for about 20 years and I realized I needed a change in my life. And okay. so I picked up and moved to San Diego and I'm going to be honest with you uh if if Derby wasn't with me I probably wouldn't have been able to do it cuz it was a low time in my life but we needed a change. So we moved to San Diego and started over and uh now and then it's when our real adventures began when we started to surf together uh we got matching blue mohawks and oh, we yeah, started yeah. <laughs> we started wearing sunglasses and uh you know we were just kind of being ourselves and everybody started to take notice Yes 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 exactly so how how, how did uh, being a participant in the pack series that happened to you Oh, so how did they found us? How did they find us? Yes, exactly. So I I created Derby in Instagram, Derby California, and okay. you know, I would post some of his adventures on there and stuff we would do, surfing, riding motorcycles together, uh, you know, going on trips, uh, riding scooters together, and just all, you know, just for my friends to see and they actually hit me up on his Instagram. Well, the funny thing is is I thought it was fake. they sent okay. me a message like a flyer saying hey would you want to go on an adventure with your dog and i was like yeah but this sounds fake i actually deleted it and okay. a couple of our other surf dog friends said hey you need to check this out cuz they got the same message and i gave it to my girlfriend and she filled it out a couple of interviews later uh and in some personal interviews and then they flew us out to LA and we made it 
So I almost threw away a per a great opportunity for us to go on this yeah. adventure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But but I think uh, you didn't grab the opportunity. The app opportunity grabbed you, I guess. Ah, uh, so yeah, and, that way. As I, I do agree with that. <laughs> exactly. The world wants to see you and Derby together traveling around the world, and <laughs> I personally had a wonderful time uh, uh, looking at these, looking at all the episodes, and I personally learned a lot from you as well. how you live in the moment and all those i shared this uh, with my family here so i said <laughs> look at this guy he is like he does he doesn't think about the task or something he just goes out there he just enjoys uh, the moment and uh, happy you ended up in the final as well so we will also reveal all these as uh, we talk further um, mm-hmm. so 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 once you you start, you came into the pack so uh i think uh, you haven't trained derby to a point like such stand and apart from this he wasn't a perfectly trained police kind of a dog right so no how- yeah not no not so, at all like i i had teach i had taught derby a couple of tricks that i like but as for what the tr- the pack wanted us to do for challenges was totally new to me uh yes. it was so kind of crazy but like you know we We did a lot of extensive training uh before the show even we they flew us out to LA for 2 weeks like a boot camp and uh had us all there and they they took us on one on one and as a group to kind of tell us what we need to know for the challenges that were going to be on the show but they couldn't tell us what the challenges were so it was kind of like all right we're going to learn how to do scent training you know you think scent training is something like police dogs or military dogs or dogs that work at airports that do I didn't think a regular you know a house dog could learn that but after a while Derby picked it up and it's one of the fun games we still play today you know when he's just kind of wandering a house I'll go hide a scent and I'll say hey search and he's wagging his tail all through the house looking for something and you know pulling on stuff uh I actually put a rope on my refrigerator so he could help me open the refrigerator for me and uh yeah. stuff like that and like it's just so cool and so awesome how you you know you think all these tricks or the, that we did that are really hard but if you break it down to its simplest form to train them dogs pick it up immediately and it's so amazing <laughs> that that's nice that's nice and then and then uh, you, we spoke about the training process that happened uh, so what was the uh, experience in the pack we want to hear it from you we know you have traveled across <laughs> the globe and uh, i think i think words can't describe it but we want to hear from you on how was the experience all together because with regards to safety aspect and mm-hmm. then i think you can break it down in all these aspect and you can uh, explain to us yeah so being on the pack was amazing they treated us so well i mean they actually treated the dogs way better than the humans <laughs> uh, we got to stay in amazing hotels uh see beautiful countries and see their cultures uh not only that uh they flew us around in our own chartered 737 so like the dogs flew and sat next to us the whole time uh i mean everywhere we go all the people uh, wanted to take pictures with all the dogs and everything um you know safety was a big thing we had veterinarians that traveled with us uh we had a dog safety team that made sure all the dogs were uh, kept in good health um any country we went to or city a local vet actually uh, inspected the dogs uh for everything and so and then you know what like a lot of reality competition shows it's all about backstabbing and yeah. telling lies just trying to win but this show was totally different i mean we were all friends from the get go even though we had to be on separate teams and compete against each other to stay on we still were helping each other and rooting for each other so you know not only going on this great adventure we also made lifelong friends and derby actually made a girlfriend on the show yeah snow <laughs> right yeah snow yeah. so there might be a a derby and snow wedding in the okay. future <laughs> yes yes yeah which country was your favorite Shay one four stead. Okay, yeah. So I don't really like cold weather. So a lot of the times, okay. in we were in Europe, it was pretty cold. So we actually one of the countries we went to was Costa Rica, and we went to okay. we went to Costa Rica in two cities. We went to Capos, the near the beaches, and Derby and I love the beach. We love being out in the sand and in the water. Uh, not only were we at the beach in Capos but we got to see the got to go to the jungles which was so amazing i mean 
just go into the deep jungles and all you hear is exotic birds and howler monkeys, uh, seeing three-toed sloths hanging in the trees and the dogs are just going crazy. Like, what is that thing? So Capos was definitely our yes. favorite. <laughs> yes, superb. So hope you answered your question. So Buddy the Kavachan, how old is Derby? Derby is how, eight years how old. How old is Derby? Yeah. He's eight years old. Okay. I got him when okay. he was about a year old. So we've been together about seven years. So he's eight years and young boy, I, I would say. <laughs> But for a dog, it's it's pretty big lifespan. Oh yeah. Uh, so how how old do you have to be to be on the pack? I would love to see young contestants. So, so I question. believe I believe that the age limit is eighteen to forty five. uh cuz that was kind of like the range we were at um i know that they are starting to cast for season 2 uh right now but i past that i don't know where to sign up or anything like that uh we're still working with amazon uh through this couple more months uh, doing interviews and stuff like that so past that mm-hmm. i really don't know uh how to get on the show people ask me all the time and i wish i had an answer for them <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, derby is going to be a model very soon Uh, we're coming uh, yeah. into ads. Oh, I hope so. That's what we're working on now. Uh we've got a couple other projects we're working on. We'll we'll talk about it a little bit later, but yeah, it's it's going to be awesome. Yes, super. So another question, what is your favorite challenge? I think uh, that you do a lot of challenges in the show. So mm-hmm. can you pick any one and tell our audience? Yeah, I mean, I don't want to ruin it for everybody uh to, who hasn't watched yes. it, but there was one challenge in particular uh where So to start to uh, in London we had to break out of a jail. And yes. what Derby does is he got the key while I was in jail he got the key for me. And this is something that when I first got Derby uh, I was like I think I I, need, I wanted a dog to pick things up for me. And I'm just I don't know if you want to call it me being lazy uh but <laughs> if I point at something and Derby sees it he'll pick it up for me. If I actually say remote and then the remote's are all the way across the living room he'll actually go get the remote for me so it's just something i've always wanted a dog to do and uh so it actually worked out perfectly for that we were not in that jail very long he brought me the key and we were gone <laughs> that that that's amazing actually i i also don't want to reveal a lot of things that happen in the show because it could ruin uh, people who are yet to watch the show uh, mm-hmm. and I'll, and there are a lot of challenges guys for sure you'll be amazed uh, and uh, how how what capability can a dog have which is which was uh, brought up at a home so you if you see the show you can understand uh, what i'm talking about exactly and yes so let's let's jump on to a few other uh, uh, like a fun session uh, we would have a rapid fire session right now okay uh, okay so we would expect uh, answers very quickly okay I'll- I will try Derby might have to help me out but we'll try. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes okay. Uh before that uh, can you can you give an high five or do some uh, small tricks with Derby? Is it possible? Uh, you know I, he's kind of sleeping right now. He's just woke up. What are you saying, buddy? Can you do something for me? Can you give me a paw? Can you give me a paw? Thank you very oh, much buddy. Yeah, <laughs> kick start. He yeah, he has given the sign to kick start. Now you're we doing. Have, <laughs> we we haven't quite woke up yet, so he hasn't. We haven't been on a walk this morning yet, but he'll wake up here soon. <laughs> okay. So so the first question is, uh, uh, which participant in the pack is your best friend? Which participant in the pack? I would have to say my wingman Lucy, uh, Lucy and yeah. Duchess. Uh, Duchess. We the Labrador. Actually, the labrador the black labrador she has been our my wingman from the get go uh from the beginning of the thing and she was on our pack and uh we're about the same age so it's so awesome that we you know we relate to a lot more but sh- we still talk today and she's uh always been there to support me and derby and we've always been there to support her and uh, duchess that's nice okay one thing you haven't done with derby but you got you wanted to do but you haven't done with derby still oh So one of the things I want to do with Derby is try to ride as many different modes of transportation with him. I if you've seen some of the stuff we've done like helicopters, motorcycles and stuff like that, uh, but I want to try to either ride a horse-drawn carriage 
or an elephant. <laughs> <laughs> so if anybody knows where we can go ride an elephant, let us know. <laughs> yes, yes. Please do post it to him. And so, so I want to tell uh, in two aspects. So one is what what activity does Derby like personally that you think, and also what activity you would like to do along with Derby. So you got to answer in these two aspects. Okay. So what thing would he like to do? I know Derby. All he wants to do is play in the water. So anywhere, anything doing with the water, he he he. That's what he wants to do. Uh, uh, and for me, I mean, just hanging out with him. That's what like, I, this is. This this place. This doing on this this show has given me the opportunity just to uh, do our own thing now and our own projects and to be able to hang it with him twenty four seven. And that's all I ever wanted to do in life was just hang out with my best friend. <laughs> yes, exactly. So three things that you learned from Derby in your life. Like, three things that I had. Yes. So one thing is uh, dogs uh, definitely under uh, know how you're feeling and can bring you out of the deepest, darkest hole if you're in if you're feeling bad, and they're always there for you. Uh, no matter what they do, they're still going to be your best friend or, or, what, or whatever you do. They're always going to be there for you. Uh, no matter if you're mad or sad or anything, yes. that's, what I, that's what I love about them. Uh, another thing is, is how smart they are. I mean, I've always known doodles and dogs can be very smart, but it's almost like he's just an, a human in a dog costume. Like he almost <laughs> understands, like he's about to unzip and walk out like, hey, here, here's this. Like, <laughs> I, think, I think that's you. It's yeah, it's who's so inside it, in the zoo. It, it's inside Derby, but like he's he it just it just surprises me sometimes when I'm sometimes talking to him. He like says, hey, "I know what you're talking about." I'm like, "Yeah, get it." <laughs> yeah. So, so the third one. Ah, uh, what's the third one we learned together? Oh, man, just being adventurous. I love. I mean, just how adventurous he is. I mean, if you had known him from the first day I got him and today, you would definitely say that's not the same dog, just because how much is attitude and his confidence has just grown so much and that's what i love is that his confidence has grown so much actually i would i would give that credit to you you have <laughs> played a big part in derby's life i would say as oh. well as he has done to you as well but you have invested a lot of time and energy i know how hard it is to uh, train a dog or understand a dog and the patience that is required i actually appreciate you for that uh, Oh, thank you, so, to you. thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, so our rapid fire is almost done. And All right. uh, you are very Yay. quick. Yeah. Derby. Oh, we did, did we nice. do good? Did we do <laughs> so, good? <laughs> <laughs> so one question I want to ask is, how did this blue mohawk has uh, become, become a thing? Mind? Yeah. So, yeah. So I had a mohawk when we were living in Atlanta. And I always tell people there was a story where Derby saw my hair and was like, Hey, I want one of those. And I was like, man, you're going to look stupid, but okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and so I, you know, I never had a dog that you could groom that had to be, you had to take to a groomer and you know, the long hair is cool, but it's very tedious and you, it's very like time consuming. So usually he's not this fluffy, but uh, I wanted him really shaved down, but I didn't want that whole shaved poodle look. And I, I had a lady do a mohawk and it went all, and it goes down his whole back and it looked pretty cool. Uh, once we moved to San Diego, I I'm, uh, got our groomer that he has today and she said, I can actually dye that. And I didn't know anything about it. And the only color she had right then and there was blue. And when, as soon as she got done, it was the greatest thing ever. And it's just been our thing ever since. And then when we did started doing surf competitions, Together, I started dyeing my hair. We wear sunglasses together, so it was uh, kind of our thing, and it, you know, just everybody recognized us. Yes, yes, yes. That's the unique style of yours, I would say. <laughs> like the blue mohawk, wherever. Like I, I would spot you while while you are doing your tasks. I will say, oh, that that is Derby, that is Kentucky. <laughs> yeah. And then, and then uh, we have another dog who keeps barking, right? Yep, that's oh, Dixie. Dixie. Dixie, the, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. The coon out. She barks a lot, but she's awesome. Like, we love Brian and Dixie. <laughs> the, yeah, Brian and Dixie, exactly. So, yeah, so, so moving on to a couple of uh, other questions. Uh, so, what would you tell to people who have pets at their home? So, I see, I see a lot of people tying them 
and then no, not giving a uh, proper attention to them or it's not uh, training them in a discipline mara as sisa milan says uh, mm-hmm. rules boundary and limitations of course exactly. they got to have have it for a dog in these aspects uh, what have you learned and what would you like to convey to people who own a pet so yeah what i i love telling people is like you know what dogs are definitely our best friends and you know being house dogs they they you know you just want them to be like a family member but an, another thing you've got to really reiterate to people and i try to tell is like you got to be like i consider the alpha dog like people are always like well my dog doesn't do that because he's just unruly i'm like well he probably doesn't think you're the boss <laughs> yes, exactly and there's always there's so many ways that you can convey that to the dog you know like hey i'm the one in charge we can have fun together but i've got to be the one in charge and a lot of people just don't take that initiative and i that's what i want people to know is like hey dogs are fun dogs are love it they're they'll be there loving by you sitting on the couch but there's got to be some boundaries to who's the master and who's the dog but still have a great time and when you when you can get that boundary set things start getting a lot easier and more fun things you can do with your dog by taking them out in public taking them in the cars and stuff like that where you know you don't have to worry about them so much yes beautiful beautifully conveyed uh, so the next question would be how is life after uh, the series pack uh, you, you would have had a lot of difference right for sure <laughs> Yeah, so the life life after the pack has been amazing. Uh we get recognized a lot more. Uh you know, we've we've gotten a lot we more like followers. It? Uh you know what? I love it. I wouldn't I tell people like people stop us all the time to take pictures and I'm like, "Well, we wouldn't look like two goofballs if we didn't want people to take pictures." <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you're going to stand out in the crowd, people are going to take pictures. And we love it. We love stopping with everybody and talking to everybody. Uh you know, our followers have increased, which is amazing. We love it and uh we love all our followers and uh I hope they love watching all our adventures that we still have together. Um like I said we're working on a few projects. I don't know if you if we want to talk about those projects right now. I definitely yes, love yes, to. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, please. So one project we're working on is we have started our own brand of dog hoodies and human hoodies that are tie-dyed. Uh that you can get a matching set and it's from his online store derbycalifornia.com. Uh these are so amazing. I've been wanting to do this for almost 3 years and through this the pack and this platform we have been able to make this happen and it's so awesome to like own our own store and you know people yeah. wearing our products. We do t-shirts now. Uh you can get one with yeah, yeah, face yeah. on it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we are also working on a children's book uh because we love uh you know hanging out with the kids and and them seeing derby and asking all those crazy questions kids ask and I and you know I just love it um we've been uh we've been doing a lot of virtual classroom visits here in the states because a lot of kids you know have to t- do class from home on a computer and mm-hmm. teachers hit us up and we show up on the computer and talk with them for a few minutes and it just brightens their day because you know going to school sucks already but doing yeah. it at home <laughs> on a computer does not make it any better <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah, that's what some of the projects we're working on. Uh hopefully we can do a a a show with uh Snow and Josh with uh their yes. wedding. So, we're in the works on making that happen and we'll see what happens. Yes, beautiful. I think uh uh it, it is good to see and hear uh, what's happening to you in your life and uh, I hope this uh, pack has transformed your life uh in, in, into a better uh, a uh, lifestyle and i i hope a lot of projects comes your way as well <laughs> want to see Thank you in movies and all those these cool, <laughs> cool attitude and all these hopefully that happens as well in a bollywood movie oh that would be awesome thank you okay uh, so the next question is uh, how much should you rate the experience of being in the series pack from a scale of 1 to 10 man being on the pack what kind of rate would you give we definitely give it a 20 <laughs> yeah. I mean that was I mean I it's hard to explain. Like I was overwhelmed with like how awesome that the, this this experience was. Like even then I remember when people were when I was doing the interviews, I even asked the producer like is this going to be one of those shows that's going to be on a web series with like two guys and a camera that kind of just follow you around? They're like no, it's going to be bigger than that. And the first day we stepped on set and I saw tents camera guys, sound yeah. guys, lights and stuff and I was like, "Oh, this is going to be big." 
and so it was just so amazing. Uh, yeah, so yeah, this this is definitely. I wish everybody could go on this adventure. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Beautiful. I think everybody should experience, uh, even without being in this uh, series or something, they can have in their life. I I guess. So it's mm-hmm. the effort uh, that they got to take of being with their dogs and yes. pets, anything for that matter. Definitely. Yes. Okay. So. I want to reveal a small thing here. Maybe uh, I, th- I think it would be. I, I want to get your feeling out of it. Okay. So okay. A, a small thing is uh, we know you are in the finals, so mm-hmm. <laughs> it is going to take the husbands right now. So I don't want to tell what happened in the final, but okay. how, how how was how was your take when you came to know the results? What was your take? But, you know what? The, through this whole thing. You know, we every team had an opportunity to win five hundred thousand dollars. But yes. not only that, there was also a charity aspect to all this too. So we also were fighting for another two hundred fifty thousand dollars to our favorite charity. And to to me, it wasn't about the the five hundred thousand. I mean, money money comes and goes. But just the experience and winning the money for my charity here locally in San Diego was what I was thri- what me and Derby were thriving for. But also, just to get to the finals and to experience every country, every challenge was something I really wanted to do because it it would have kind of sucked if we, me and Derby, had gone home the first day in L.A. <laughs> like, oh man, yeah. we were on the show, but we didn't go nowhere. And it was all about just going places and seeing new things with my best friend that I would never been able to do on my own ever. So. Be it, making it to the finals is all about doing every challenge and seeing every country and every city. Yeah. That's what I, I took out of this whole experience and love. Ace and Mark, dude, great, yeah. great competitors. We love them. We still yes. talk to them today. They were they were amazing. Great, great team. Yes. So then, then we obviously have an eye on you. On uh, no, no, this guy should come to the final, and that's how we <laughs> felt. And then, and then to ask one thing, uh, it was very emotional for the audience to see. Whenever people get eliminated, so yes, uh, how how was it to you guys? And then uh, we could see you you are eliminated, and they just walk off, and we are like, oh, the, these guys have been so close together, and that too with their dogs, it has been another level experience. But they are leaving the show, and we feel sad for it. So how do you guys feel at that point of time? So it, it's so crazy because like as soon as they are eliminated, they're they're just taken away from us. Like we don't see them again. We don't talk to them again. Like they, they, they just basically take them and they send them home by themselves. And and we don't and we didn't get to talk to a lot of them until we got back. And and it was so and like they didn't know what was going on. So like they would say, "Hey, what happened?" <laughs> and so, but you know, it, you know, we we spent so much time together uh, off screen. I mean, because we didn't have they took away our phones, uh, so we didn't have no communication with the outside world. We didn't have no internet. Uh, so we we stayed at hotels, beautiful hotels, but it was kind of like going to sleepaway camp because they would allow us to talk to each other, but people had to be there to listen to what we were saying. Such cool hoodies, so the buddy, oh yeah, yeah you can you can you can also go to a store and please uh, try to purchase something. So oh, yeah. obviously you would you would love the product, and one of the t-shirts that uh, Kentucky is wearing is uh, yep. From right his here? shop, yeah. <laughs> and you can go to his shop, visit his website. You can just that, click on buy now. Is that Faith Surfs? That's yes. actually what. That's one of our surfing buddies, Faith. Buddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I then, then I hope you can uh, you can yeah. also contact him directly. Yeah. What's up? Yeah, you can go. You can get our shirts at derbycalifornia.com. dot com. Dot <laughs> com. Yes. Exactly. So I so in in the meantime, I, I'll take you to an, a small. Uh, Episode, so it's called the five seconds rule. In in a matter of five seconds, you got to answer. Give me three answers. First question is: the moment you see Derby, what are the three things that you think of? I knew oh. all pet parents would have few thoughts in their mind when they see their dog. First time when I wake up and I see Derby, I'm like, all right, what adventure are we going on today? Okay. Uh, what are we going to eat today? And okay. Is there any time in the day that we can go surfing? Exactly. So, what would you like to tell to people who are chasing their own dreams, uh, Kentucky? So, 
Uh, you, you know, you. so yeah, when people are just chasing it, it's just to never give up on them. Uh, you know, life gets in the way sometimes, but you know, we have to do certain things. Uh, you know, we have to work, we have to make money, we got to take care of people that, you know, we're just th don't, never expected to, but like, just never give up on them. Cause you never know, uh, an opportunity might come and just like me, you might almost throw it away, but you have people surrounding you that can help you out. And always just, uh, you know, ask for help because, you know, sometimes dreams, you can't do it your, yourself. You need people to help you to achieve them. So don't be afraid to ask people for help if you're trying to achieve something. Okay, beautiful. So that we, have, we have come to the conclusion of our session. So at last, I want to put myself into trouble right now. Uh, so it's called a session called You and Me. So right. uh, we, we have had a con conversation for about 45 minutes, I would say. So I'm going to guess what would you guys like when I, when I give some options. So I'm going to guess what would you guys like doing, okay? Okay. The so first question would be, uh, I frame few questions, but in nervous, uh, <laughs> like I, I'm shivering right now whether I would say the right answers. Okay. Would, would Derby and you go on a surfing a trip or else you guys would go on a road trip okay surfing trip is option one and road trip is option two on account of three three two one one so, yes, <laughs> i knew this answer so that's one. why yeah. i, I one. this question seven <laughs> one <laughs> okay so next one is the best treat the derby loves maybe okay. in, in meat aspect okay okay is, is it beef or is it pork so i have watched the show so I'm, okay. I'm going to guess it, okay? Okay. Beef is option one and pork is option two. Okay. What do you okay. got? Three, two, one. Yes. Beef. Yes! <laughs> yes! Yes, I have done, done well, I guess. <laughs> so if it goes wrong, yes. I don't bother because I already... Yeah. You know, I, you I know think... us so well. You already know yes. us so well. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Happy about it. Uh, and then the third question is, would... You and Derby love to groom or else you guys don't love to groom, okay? You have I a groom. personal groom in the sense, haircut and all those. Okay, okay. Maybe gotcha. this is silly and I knew no, the answer good. as well. It's all good. <laughs> but I want, to use, I want to get three. That's the reason uh, I choose that. Grooming gotcha. option one, not grooming option two. Okay, your okay. personal inner feeling also you can tell. Option one, yeah. obviously. <laughs> yes. Yes, 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 three, yes. We gotta look. We gotta look good. We gotta look good. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Exactly. And then Kentucky and Derby, I had a wonderful time conversing with you. And then oh, uh, with regards to the NGO part, uh, you, you, you were, you were telling, you were so keen to get the twenty-five thousand dollars, right? So in in order to uh, give to an NGO. So can you talk about that NGO at this point of time? Oh, uh, the, our charity. Yes. Yeah. So is. yeah. So our our charity we were fighting for is called the Helen Woodward Animal Center. Uh, it's here in San Diego. Uh, this charity is so dear to our hearts because when we first moved here, we didn't know anybody. We didn't have uh, any friends or anything. And when we started surfing, uh, dog surfing competitions, they put on one of the dog surfing competitions. So we got to know a lot of the dog surfers and also the uh, the Helen Woodward Animal Center, uh, uh, all the people who work there. And they put on events all over San Diego, and we would show up to them and get to know everybody and raise money for them. And uh, actually, uh, they actually put on classes for people who want to learn how to teach their dogs to surf. And Derby and I and some of the other surf dogs uh, owners, we actually volunteer our time to teach these people how to surf with their dogs, which is so amazing because after we teach them, they actually go into competition with us, which is so cool. And it, and it, it just made us feel more a part of the community of San Diego and make Southern California more of a home to us now that we were we, we met friends through this. So that, you know, just through dog surfing alone helped us become part of Southern California. That's lovely. And then so if, if for example, if I wanted to contribute to the charity that you're mentioning, so how do I do it? You can yes, you the can, audience. yeah, animalcenter.org. Uh, that is their website. Okay, so they can log in there and you can give your donation, guys, if you are interested. Yeah. And also, if and you then, are in the region, you can uh, be a part of their surfing classes. And uh, one of the best surfer on top <laughs> is there, and Kentucky is there, so you can go and learn uh, from them as well. 
Oh, thank you. And then also we wanted to tell everybody, like, you know, we also love to give back also through our store. Uh, for every shirt and every hoodie we sell, $1 goes to Helen Woodward Animal Center. So, like, we'd love to give back in any way we can. That That's so nice of you. And you have a very big heart, I would say. And uh, congratulations and also all the best for your futures. We are waiting to watch you in more uh, uh, media presence and because we love you so much in from India and I hope this show has been very successful and uh, you you go in flying colors and thanks a lot for coming on to my show and uh, making your presence I personally loved and uh, enjoyed conversing with you hopefully you would have to uh, yeah awesome we had such a great time thank you so much for having us on and yo this has been so amazing uh, we love to say hey to everybody in India. <laughs> yes, they love you. They love you here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. Thank you and thanks a lot, Derby and uh, Kentucky. Bye. See ya. <laughs> yeah, bye-bye.